Welcome to this Mass Minis video on coding. To start with, let's take a look at skill 1, which is coding with raw data. So to code a data point x, we turn it into y equals, so let's just write this down here, so we turn this into y equals x minus a all over b, where a and b are of our choosing. And then we can work with our new data set y to get information about our original x. To start with though, let's just recall some notation. So remember for the mean of x, so this is for the mean of x, the notation we use here is an x with a little bar above it. So this is x bar, okay? And it looks like this. And for the variance of x, so for the variance of x, let's just write this down as well. For the variance of x, we just simply use the following notation. So we just write var, and then for the variable, which is x in this case, we just write the bar of x like that, okay? So to get information about x from our coded set y, we have the following formulas. So y bar, so y bar here is equal to x bar minus a all over b, okay? And for the variance of y, so for the variance of y, this is equal to the variance of x, bar x all over b squared okay so all over b squared where b is an arbitrary number so let's take a look at a brief example then so let's say we want to find the mean and variance of the following numbers so let's just write these numbers down so this is our example and the numbers we are looking to find the mean and variance of are the following so let's just write these down here so 14,010 14,005 I'll try these down here just so you can see them on the screen. So 14,005 and finally 14,060. Okay, so we want to find the mean and variance of these four numbers. So here we're going to be using the code in then y equals x minus 14,000. So x minus 14,000 all over 10. Okay, so what we've done here is we've chose A as 14,000 and B as 10. So in this case then, what we get here is we get Y equals 1, 3, 4, and 6. Okay, and that's by substituting these values here as our X value. Okay, obviously if you put 14,000 and 10 in here, that's going to be 10 over 10, giving you Y equals 1 there. Okay, and you just repeat that with the remaining three numbers. Now clearly this is much easier to work with. So now, to find the mean and variance of the y values then, in that case, y bar, this is y bar, in that case then, this is just going to simply be the, the sum of these numbers here, 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6, and we just divide that by 4. So this is 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6, and we're going to divide this by 4, okay? And if you evaluate this on your calculator, what you get here is 3.5, okay? And for the variance of y then, so for the variance of y, in that case then this is going to be 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 6 squared. This is all going to be over 4. And what we do here is we minus the mean squared. So we're going to do this calculation here, and then we're going to minus 3.5 squared. So minus 3.5 squared. Okay. And clearly what we need to do now is just put this into our calculator. And if you do this correctly, what you would get here is 3.25. Okay, so that's for the variance of y. So now we just need to find the mean of the original values. So in that case then, 3.5 is going to be equal to x bar. So 3.5 is going to be equal to x bar minus our a value here, which is 14,000. 14,000. And this is all over b, which is 10. Okay. And all we're going to do now is just solve for x bar. Okay. So if we times both sides of this equation by 10, and then add 14,000 to that, what we get then here for x bar, for x bar here is 14,035. Okay. So all we've done here is solve for x bar. And we just need to repeat this now for the variance of the original values. So... What we'll do here is we'll just clear that just so we've got enough room to finish. But we'll make sure you've got everything here so far. And then to finish this, 
to get the variance of the original values, that's going to be 3.25 is equal to the variance of x. All over b squared, so that's going to be 10 squared, which is 100. And now again, all we do now is just solve for the variance of x. So in that case, the variance of x is simply just going to be equal to 3.25 times by 100, which clearly gives us 320 by that. Okay, so the mean and variance of the four numbers that we put on the last screen, what we get then for the mean is 14,035, and for the variance we get 325 there. Okay, so that gives us the solution to our example, and that gives us everything we need there for skill one on coding with raw data. Moving on to skill two, which is coding with summarized data. We can also apply coding to simplify summarized data to calculate the mean and variance. So let's take a look at this example here. Suppose we have sigma of x minus 100 equals 18, and sigma of x minus 100 squared equals 45, and we have 10 data points. So here, the obvious coding to try would be y equals x minus 100. Okay, so y equals x minus 100. Okay, so in that case, this would give us sigma y. So sigma y would be equal to 18. Okay, just replacing this x minus 100 here with our y. Sigma y is equal to 18. And then in this case here, sigma of x minus 100 squared. Well, if y is equal to x minus 100, that's sigma of y squared. So we can see then that sigma of y squared is equal to 45. Okay. So here, the mean and variance of the y values, well, in this case, if we have 10 data points then, then y bar is simply going to be 18 sigma y over n, which is 10. Okay, so 18 over 10, and that would simply give us 1.8. Okay, so that's y bar. And then for the variance of y, bar y, well, in this case here, this is going to be 45 over 10 minus the mean squared, which we know is 1.8. So 45 over 10 minus 1.8 squared. Okay, so we just, we now just need to calculate this on our calculator. And what you get here is 1.26 okay so in this case then what we want now is x bar and to calculate x bar this is going to be y bar plus 100 okay so this is y bar plus 100 okay well in that case that would simply be 1.8 that's what we calculated for y bar so 1.8 plus 100 which would give us 101.8 Okay, so 101.8. And then for the variance of x, so var x. So the var x here, well, this is simply equal to var y, the variance of y. Okay, which we've already calculated as 1.26. Okay, so we just simply put 1.26 for the variance of x. And the variance of x is the same as the variance of y, since we, since we have only subtracted 100 from each number. Okay, so that's why that's the case here. And that gives us the solution there to our example, and that gives us everything we need there for skill two on coding with summarized data. And finally then, let's take a look at skill three, which is coding with group data. Now we can code group data by coding the midpoint and calculating all our sums with the coded midpoint, and then converting back at the end. So let's take a look at this example here, where we want to estimate the mean and variance of the heights of the teachers at school from the following table. Okay, so there's a few things we need here. We need the midpoints, which clearly we're going to calculate by adding these two values together and dividing by two. But we can see quite truly that these are going to be, for example, 1.55, 1.65, 1.75, and 1.85. Okay, we now need to choose a suitable coding for the midpoints. And here, a suitable coding would be y equals y equals x minus 1.55 all over 0 0.1 okay so x minus 1.55 over 0 0.1 and now we need to add the coded midpoints to the table so let's just get this table up that we get here what we also want is f of y 
and f of y squared. Okay, so this was the coded midpoint. That's what we calculated using or y here. And what we're also going to calculate now is f of y, or fy, which is just simply the frequency times by the coded midpoint, and then f y squared. So that's the frequency times by the coded midpoint squared. Okay, so for example, 4 times 0 must give us 0. 16 times 1 gives us 16. 19 times 2 gives us 38. 11 times 3 gives us 33. So that's how we obtain our fy values. And for the fy squared values, what we can see here, that 4 times 0 squared would just simply give us 0. Okay. 16 times 1 squared would give us 16, and so on. Okay, and that's how we obtain our fy squared values. So, all we need to do now is calculate the mean and variance estimates for y. So here, y bar is simply going to be fy over f. Okay, so it's going to be the total here, 87. So that's 87 all over the sum of the frequencies, which is 50. Okay, so 87 over 50. And if we calculate that, we get 1.7 over there. And for the variance now of our y, well, in this case, what would this be? Well, this would be fy squared, or the total of fy squared, so that's 191. We're going to divide that by 50 again, the sum of the frequencies, and we minus y bar squared. Okay, so if we write that in full, that's 191 over 50 minus y bar squared, so minus 1.74 squared. And again, just calculate this on your calculator here. And what you should find is you get 0 0.792 over there. Okay. And now the final step here is you just, we just need to use the coding formulas to turn these into values for x. So in that case, what we've got now is 1.74 is equal to x bar minus 1.55 over 0.1. Okay, and now we just need to solve for x bar here. Okay, so therefore x bar minus 1.55 is equal to 0 0.174. And then clearly to get x bar, we just need to add 1.55 to both sides of this equation. So therefore x bar here is going to be equal to 1.72 forward there. Okay, so that gives us x bar. We also need the variance of x here. So for the variance of x, if we just finish that off over here, well, in that case, using this value now for the variance of y, we're going to do 0 0.7924 is equal to var x, the variance of x, over 0 0.1 squared. Okay, and again, we just solve for the variance of x here. And if you do that correctly, what you should find then for the variance of x bar x is you get 0 0.007, so let's try something full, 0 0.7924 over there. Okay, so 0 0.007924 over there. Okay, and that gives us the solution there to our example. And that gives us everything we need there for skill free on coding with group data. And that concludes this mass media video on coding.